Okay, folks, it is cold outside. Uh, first day uh, of cold weather, 33 degrees. For me, you know, being acclimated to Tucson desert temperatures, 33 is pretty damn cold. Um, I went voting yesterday. I went to, uh, to vote, uh, did my early voting. I waited in line, turn off this radio, waited in line. Uh, by the way, good morning work with a little coffee here mm. oh man that felt good waited in line for a little over two hours just to have my privilege to vote and I did I waited two hours finally got in there um, blackened the dots put it in an envelope and Threw it in this metal container, this metal lock box with a little little lock. It's funny, I kind of looked at that thing and the, the pole helpers there kind of saw me doing that. Took a step back, I looked at this little box. You know, the lock was slightly bigger than what you would find on luggage. It was, um, what was that brand? It was like a Stanley lock or something, so it was not a suitcase lock, but it, it looked kind of rinky dink. The whole thing, man, it's not like when I grew up, you know, where you would actually drop it into this big square, um, it's hard to articulate here while driving, but it was about three feet tall, about three feet wide, and made of metal with a little slit in it you just dropped it it was obviously a mobile safe but now nowadays uh, for your drop off it was a plastic a blue plastic tote the lid held on by two blue plastic zip ties that was your drop off box my drop off box because I went to vote inside was the metal little nothing with a little slit on it, a little, 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 uh, little lock. So I was like, ah. So anyway, I voted. Uh, and uh, that's all there is to it. Silver sitting right around $24.40. Again, just hovering in that $24 range, uh, not doing squat. I don't think we're really going to see any significant movement until the election. Um, uh, that's, that, that is my opinion. So if you're looking at silver every day, save your breath. Uh, even gold, I don't think is going to make any significant movements. Not until after the election. Uh, people are just waiting and just waiting and seeing what's going on. I do notice some big movements in the crypto markets. The crypto markets are moving upwards. So that could be for, you know, that could be a, a positive sign for the people who are hodling, uh, like myself. Um, other than that, nothing else is going on. Uh, the makeup of the line, like I said, I was in line for two hours, and it was chilly. There's a point to this. And I live in a Unfortunately, I live in an area where it is mostly older people. Now, the way I see it is, the people who are doing the mail-in ballots are have been sold a bill of goods that they're going to die if they go out and vote. So, logic would have it that the people standing in line probably were comprised of 90%. Trump supporters, 80%, go with 80%, Trump, Trump supporters. In addition, the line was comprised of mostly people, I won't say mostly, I would say about 50-50 of people who were not wearing masks. So, he, but none of them were minding that six foot rule. We were all kind of like in line tight. I wouldn't say tight together, but it, within four feet, you know, um, and people would turn around talking to each other. Everybody, including myself, were keeping it a hush-hush who we were voting for. 
In fact, there were signs that said no uh, political talking within this perimeter. So once you, I waited in line for what, two hours and about at the hour 40, hour and a half mark, we, the line moved into the perimeter, so to speak. And once you were in there, you couldn't politically talk, but I didn't keep a darn about telling anybody who I was voting for. I didn't really care. Um, But the way I see it, it, the people are mailing it in. God, I had a, Bi a Joe Biden moment there. I forgot I was doing a video. <laughs> Where am I going? How did I get in this car? <laughs> what? Oh my God. I think it's time to wake up. My point being is, if, if the people I think it's mostly the Biden supporters who have been convinced that they really need to mail in their ballots or they're going to die. So, it looked promising is all I can say. And that's just going off of just my observations. Nothing much else to, to prove that they were mostly Trump supporters. But in my opinion, that mostly most of the people in line during the you know, during the chilly temperatures yesterday, um, had to be Trump supporters. Uh, I'll, I'll end this video by saying one thing. There was a lot of people who, so the line, again, I, I, I'm, re I'm repeating myself, was two hours. So it took about two hours to get to a table where you showed them your ID and then they looked you up on a computer. Oh yeah, you're in the system. So, as I got closer to the table, I was able to hear what they were telling this is this couple that was sitting at the table doing the work. No, 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 because they would bring in their uh, their mail-in ballots. No, 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 I want to drop it off. I No, I do not want, and I heard more and more of that. That was really, um, made me feel good. I do not want to mail this in. Well, then, ma'am, we're going to have to give you a new ballot. You're going to have to fill it in, and we're going to have to take that up and shred. Then good, then that's what I'm going to do. You know, uh, I'm going to put it in the box myself. So, not everybody was stupid, if you know what I mean. Take care.